Matthew Osborne, an energy analyst with the leading energy consultancy firm in Anchor. Hello, Steve. Thanks very much for being here. I, I can feel from here the blood boiling of all the viewers watching this program at the moment. Sure. Why on earth have prices not gone down considering wholesale costs have fallen by 38%? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, first of all, that's a really good point. What I'd say is that Ofgem clearly have uh, a duty of care to consumers and they're absolutely right in looking at the wholesale market and looking at, at how prices have fallen quite significant recently and asking suppliers exactly that question, why happens? Um, you know, uh, customers' costs come down in line. Um, I, I do think we also need to consider the way that uh, suppliers buy their energy in the wholesale markets. Um, and, and typically, a lot of suppliers forward buy their gas and power requirements very much, you know, as a long-term strategy. And they typically tend to buy, you know, sort of 18 months, even two years before they actually need that energy. So they could come back to the regulator and explain, you know, this is how we buy our energy, this is our forward hedging program, and this is one of the reasons why we may see a kind of lag between the wholesale markets and the feed-through into consumer prices. All right, okay, so they could go back to Ofgem and say it's a two-year lag, for instance, for sake of argument, 18 months, two-year lag. As a result, in 18 months, two years, we will bring down prices by 38%. Are they likely to do that? Well, I think this is... <laughs> no. <laughs> It's a good question. I think you know, this is one of the reasons why Ofgem have come out with this announcement, is to mm. exactly nail, nail them on the line. And I think really the key issue for Ofgem is that you know, they want to see suppliers really engage with their customers far more actively, and they really want suppliers to be far more open with their, with their customers and just have an open dialogue with them as to this is how the wholesale markets work and this is how it feeds into your final bill and actually really trying to even give them some kind of expectation as to when they might see their prices being cut. Sure, I mean, open yeah. dialogue is an interesting phrase, isn't it? Because the lack of transparency in this whole uh, industry is, is something that really does get a lot of people exercised, and that, and that includes ministers and, and the sure. government. But the goalposts always seem to change. So wholesale prices have gone down. There's a time lag. We buy our energy in bulk two years ahead of time, yeah. so that's not going to help you. Sure. Um, you can, they can always suggest that uh, the increased cost of delivering energy to houses and to, uh, to our homes, mm -hmm. that means prices won't go down. Or they can say, we've got to fulfill the government's green agenda. That's um, bringing, around, bringing uh, costs, uh, causing problems with the costs as well. They always seem to be able to have an excuse. Mm -hmm. And the net effect of that is nothing changes. The prices don't go down. Our bills mm -hmm. aren't. I think, again, that's, that's a really good point. I would say that, yeah, you know, a, a customer's bill is quite complex. It is made up of various components. The wholesale energy cost is quite a big component, you know, between sort of 50 and 60%. But there are additional pass-through charges. There are things like transport and distribution. There are green taxes. But I think Ofgem are, are kind of trying to make steps a little bit clearer. They're taking steps to actually force suppliers to cut the number of tariffs that they offer to customers and just make the market a little bit more transparent, a little bit more clearer um, and they've also forced suppliers now to actually tell customers whether they're on the cheapest tariff so i think there are steps in place to kind of get customers aware of, of how they need to manage their energy and, 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 and things like switching for example again is, is back on the agenda um, far more aggressively and, and yeah. to be fair they have been price pieces as well but quite briefly how easy is it to switch it's, it's relatively straightforward. I think you just need to invest maybe 15, 20 minutes of your time on the internet, um, onto a comparison website, and, uh, and plug in all your figures, um, and hopefully you should find a meaningful cost saving. And, you know, what I would say is that, you know, we tend to concentrate very much on the big six, but there are other smaller suppliers offering some very good deals, and some have even actually said that, you know, they've actually even promised um, to, to see customers' bills being cut year on year, potentially, you know, and actually, you know, you could actually see some, some real competitive uh, advantage if people actually start switching to some of these lesser known suppliers. The power is mm -hmm. in the hands of the consumer. Exactly. All right. Matthew Osborne from Inenco. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Matthew. And, uh,